Absolutely. Uh, if Murdoch does get a new trial in the murder case, do you think he's got a shot? Or is there anything that happened during the original trial that you think on a second go round the defense could exploit? Um, I hate this man, Ted, but as you say it, unfortunately, the answer is he could walk out at some point if the if the murder case is overturned, right? The reason he has 10 million years in prison at this point is because he murdered in cold blood his own family just so he could, the, the allegation is that he did it. His motive was to distract attention from his financial crimes, right? So if that's overturned, that's overturned, it wouldn't be the first time, you know, in, in our history that a, con a murder conviction was overturned and then somebody walked out, right? Sometimes that happens for good reason. You know, uh, forensic evidence, you know, exonerates somebody. This guy obviously wouldn't be exonerated in that way. He would stand trial again. Uh, he would probably have, a, you know, a bond, you know, if they, if they charged him again and maybe the bond might be, you know, $10 billion. But, uh, yeah, no, he, he could walk out. The financial crime standing alone, we saw with Corey Fleming, he should have been sentenced only to two or three years. He was sentenced to 20 years consecutive with the federal case, right? But that's because he was tied to this monster, right? Well, this guy is the monster. So I think this judge is going to sentence him anyway to so many years in prison, he might not ever see the light of day. But if he can overturn the, the murder conviction, then he could have an argument to appeal the financial crime conviction. If he's sentenced to, you know, if he's sentenced to, you know, 50 years, nobody should be sentenced to 50 years just for stealing money. You know, nobody has ever had that. Um, so yeah, I, theoretically, I could see him seeing the light of day if the murder case is overturned. I could see it theoretically. 